Oklahoma school children will soon be learning a great deal more about one of the most important and iconic butterflies. As populations of the monarch continue to decrease, the con concerted effort to improve the species' chances of survival is headed to the classrooms across the state. There are numerous organizations and even state agencies already working to stabilize and increase monarch butterfly populations. Okies for Monarchs has 48 organizations working together with 28 demonstration gardens, 85 registered monarch projects, and nine Oklahoma mayors who have signed the Monarch Pledge. The Oklahoma City Zoo already has a butterfly habitat and is hosting experts from the National Wildlife Federation who have developed the Monarch Heroes curriculum. So they're training us so that we can help spread that curriculum throughout Oklahoma. Rebecca Snyder is curator of conservation and science at the Oklahoma City Zoo and Botanical Garden. Uh, if people think about how many butterflies and bees and other insects you used to see when you were a kid, Think about how many you see now. Maria Fowler is Director for Education for the National Wildlife Federation South Central Region. The NWF sees the monarch as a key to educating people about what's happening to wildlife in a rapidly changing climate. The monarch butterfly presents a wonderful opportunity to speak to the entire pollinator population because the monarch butterfly is a critter that captures people's imagination. The Federation's teaching plan is specifically designed to be there throughout a child's education. So that they are connecting with nature on a daily basis, they are taking care of their environment, they are learning what it is to be a steward every single day from the time they are in pre-K all the way through the time that they graduate from high school. Patrick Bell with the Oklahoma Native Plant Society brought with him to the meeting a plastic container with several monarch pupa, including three that were ready to hatch, and one did. The crowd surrounded the new monarch to watch it spread its new wings for the first time, hoping that others in the container would soon join the first monarch to reach adulthood, especially since 95% of monarch pupa do not survive. So we are a critical state because we need to have food, nectar plants, flowers for them to feed from. That's what the butterflies need to eat. And then we need milkweed. That's their host plant. So we have several native Oklahoma milkweeds here. Um, the most popular one for the monarchs in Oklahoma is called green antelope horn milkweed. It's also known as cow pasture milkweed and is very common across the state. The monarchs come through Oklahoma twice a year, which is why ODOT has adjusted its mowing schedule. ODOT works with us. To, to, they've changed their mowing patterns, the Oklahoma Department of Transportation, and so you're going to see more of it in the ditches now because they're not mowing it down. And Maria Fowler knows once the kids get involved through the Wildlife Federation's curriculum, they'll get mom and dad too. As the kids go back home, they say, hey, mom, dad, I really want to plant a monarch garden. I really want to plant some nectar plants. I really want to plant some milkweed plants because I know this is what the monarch butterfly needs to survive. Because she's laying an egg. Jordan Hill teaches science to sixth graders at Oklahoma City's Belle Isle Middle School. We're actually really trying to incorporate um, nature conservation and getting the kids working with the community to keep it vibrant and natural. Hill says for many students, nature is actually foreign to them. A lot of these kids, you know, they may have just a backyard or a front yard that they're familiar with. Um, and then if, if we can incorporate more nature elements in their lives, that, that's what's important to us. The Monarch curriculum came at the perfect time for Hill and his new students. We just built a butterfly garden and our goal is, we, we've got to get plants in there, so our goal is to get the kids constantly working on that, making sure the soil is healthy, making sure the plants are doing well. I want the kids to realize that the Monarch population has been decreasing over the past few years. When I was a kid, I remember them being all over Oklahoma. And as I've grown up, I've just noticed it's less and less every year. The Oklahoma City Zoo offers grants to help schools build monarch gardens. There's also a role for any Oklahoman to help preserve the monarch as a citizen researcher. First, create a monarch garden and then record what you see and report it to groups like Monarch Watch or Journey North or Okies for Monarchs, 
who are collecting the information to better track what's happening with the migration and the health of monarch butterflies. <laughs>